Uh, greetings, everybody. Now remember, this is uh, these are duplicate studies. Uh, I'm posting these under Genesis, but on the pl Genesis playlist. But they're already on the Dreams and Vision playlist, so it's it's the same study. I'm just redoing it. So uh, just keep that in mind. All right, take care. All right, everybody, turn your King James Bible to Genesis chapter 42. This is uh, Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, in John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Now, Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers when he was 17. He was the baby of the family, or one of the babies of the family. And uh, he got married when he was 30 in Egypt. So he had been in Egypt for, I don't know, roughly... Uh, you know what 12 13 years approximately now uh he it's been uh seven years of good food and now there's going to be seven years of famine so you got to figure he's approximately late late 30s close to 40 uh he got sold into slavery when he was 17 so you got to figure it's been at least 20 years since his brothers have seen Joseph, who they sold him into slavery. All right? And he's the second, second top dog in all of Egypt, besides Pharaoh. So with that in mind, uh, you know, there's famine here. So let's read the story. Genesis 42. Uh, now, when Jacob saw, now Jacob uh, was the father of Joseph, and his name was changed to Israel. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren, for he said, lest peradventure mischief befall him. I think Benjamin was the, the youngest. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land. And he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. Ah, so Joseph's brethren come to Egypt and they're bowing themselves down to Joseph, who's the second guy, top guy in Egypt. He's the governor. He's second only to the king, the Pharaoh. Verse 7. So they bow themselves before him with their faces toward uh, to the earth. Verse 7. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them. Ah. Made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew him not. Uh, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them. And he said unto them, Oh boy, Joseph's going to have a little bit of fun with his brethren. Remember the dream where uh, he said that... Uh, their sheaves bowed down to his sheaf. Remember that dream? Oh, yeah. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them and said unto them, Ye are spies to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. In other words, he's accusing them of, uh, yeah, well, you're spies. And they said unto him, Nay, my Lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's sons. We are true men. Thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said, 
Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan, and behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That is it that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby, shall, uh, hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence, except your lo youngest brother come hither. So, in other words, uh, he wants to see his younger brother. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh, surely ye are spies. And he put them all together into ward three days. So he put them in the prison for three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye carry corn for the famine of your houses. And bring your youngest brother unto me, so shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, Now understand this. Um, they're speaking to each other in Hebrew here. And, you know, Joseph knows their language, right? And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye would not hear? Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself from about, uh, about from them, and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon, and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and to restore every man's money into his sack and to give them provision for the way. And thus he did unto them. And they laded their asses with the corn and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, you know, his food, you know, that's what provender is, it's food, uh, to give his ass provender in this inn, he espied his money, for behold, it was in the sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God hath done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, The man who is the Lord of the land spake roughly to us, and took us for spies of the country. And he said unto them, We are true men, we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father, one is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the famine of your households, and be gone. And bring your youngest brother unto me, then shall I know that ye are no spies." but that ye are true men, so will I deliver you your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in the sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said unto them, Me have ye bereaved of my children. Joseph is not, and Simeon is not. So, you know, Okay, Joseph is gone, and now Simeon is also gone. And ye will take Benjamin away? So here it is, he's thinking, he's, not only has he lost Joseph, but he's, he lost Simeon, and now he's going to lose Benjamin too? That's three of his twelve sons. And ye will take Benjamin away? All these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee. Deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, 
and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. So Joseph remembered his dream. And like I say, if you want to hear the rest of the story, like Paul Harvey used to say, uh, I've got a playlist on Joseph. Maybe I'll uh, post the link in the description or uh, in the comments. I think uh, this is a very, very interesting story. I, I enjoyed it very much. So, you know, Joseph's uh, dream of the sheaves bowing themselves down to his sheaf uh, came to pass, right? So, all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. In Jesus' precious name, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor. Amen.